think her. there's a big problem with education. A big problem with the education that edible marijuana, as we talked about before, I think you were in the bathroom, the 11 hydroxy metabolite as it's processed by the liver. It's a radically different drug. Radically and, different. And, and it's really a psychedelic. In, and, in a very, in, in, for me personally, edible marijuana and flotation tanks, I might as well be taking a fucking bucket of acid. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it, it is a crazy goddamn experience. Now, I personally enjoy being paranoid. And I know yeah. this sounds crazy, but I think with me, it gives me, and I think I, I live uh, a pretty blessed life. And I like I like the feeling of paranoia because it allows me to explore maybe some area, like maybe is I'm too confident. Is it a specific paranoia that you have? It's, it's a freak out, man. It's, <laughs> I, I think... I have maybe an abundance of confidence. Maybe I have too much, right? Maybe I'm too successful. What I like about the Terrible paranoia that comes have. with edible marijuana is it allows me to check myself. It allows me to put myself, examine all of my behavior in the darkest recesses of my mind, my thoughts, and and g g gives me a perspective. And it makes me a nicer person. But it might knock down the ego right, just a little tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, you're you know, just for like, sure. Just but like the not. other psychedelics. Sure. I think it just, it gives you just a little, yeah, it, it knocks down the ego just a little. I mean, some people use it and like at the end of the day and then, you know, like like Joe said, I think it makes you reflect sometimes better and more objectively. Yes. Meaning that, like you know, maybe you had an encounter with someone earlier in the day, and then you know, l late at night, you know, you toke up a bit, and you're like, oh man, I probably yes. should have done things exactly. a little bit differently. Exactly. You but know, like that happens to people all all the time. It just it, it forces you to reflect in a different state, and sometimes when you reflect in that state, you come up with thoughts that that you just wouldn't have come up with before. Yes. And like my patients say to me all the time, like it just kind of breaks this like negative state that I have. I'm just able to, 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 to break out of a negative state and think logically. You know, I, I'm sa I, people say that to me all the time. But, but see, you're, uh, to me, you're talking about something <clears throat> different and it works for you right you your, your paranoia is it, it sounds more almost existential it's how can i be a better person what am i doing wrong in my life it's not my wife is poisoning me or they, <laughs> no 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 joke no joke like that this is, is funny when you're schizophrenic and you yeah and no you i use understand the, and or you know or the cops are gonna bust through the fucking yeah, door yeah. and shoot me yes okay no, that's right. a different thing and yeah. that's why that's, different kind of paranoia. that's why mar marijuana drives this extreme violence in some people or Be those people need to get their fucking shit together well, that's possible too well i mean <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen. It's, they may need the though, aliens to, aren't really coming, bro. <laughs> right, but, <laughs> but they may need to be intervened before. Yeah. And, yes. and and to yeah. Joe's point, though, they have shown in in studies that um, if you make an, an intervention. Other uh, outside of the uh, psychotic symptoms, you can actually reduce the incidence of violence. Yes, and also too, I think it's you know a good point. I was going to uh, mention earlier to bring up genetics because we are teasing out genetics for people, and we are discovering that certain people do have certain genetics that do predispose them uh, to to certain cannabis disorders. Right, so you know I, I'm involved um, with, with with a company that's doing that right now. We're trying to create um, cannabis genetic tests for people. Right, and there's three genes that we've identified um, so far you know one of them is the MAPK 14 genotype and that has been shown to be associated with um, a, uh, a deficit in brain volume when, when you do use cannabis and then there's two other genes the AKT1 and the CADMM2 genotype you know both of those have also been shown to, to be associated with cannabis but again you know how many people have them um, the MAPK uh, 14 is roughly about 8% is what we're seeing uh, the AKT1 is around 4% and the CADM2 is around is around 5%. So but that's There's you so add many, that up. That's but, almost twenty percent of the population. But 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 we're seeing. But if we can identify, um, I love that stuff. Lines me. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. wicked. Um, so if we can identify, you know, the the people who are at risk, then we can maybe uh, potentially, you know, use the medicine in a way where only the people who don't have these, these genetics are using the medicine, and then you know, for the people who do have these genetics you know they stick mostly to cbd i just think you know that that's a better approach than you know just just kind of um prohibiting cannabis or saying that you know we shouldn't 
we shouldn't use it at all or saying that it's not medicine. I think that it should be held to the same standard as any other medicine. And I think that if we had an incredible medicine that worked for some people and that didn't work for others, then what we would do is we would try to figure out why. And, you know, I, I've been doing that. My company's been doing that. It's called Anant Life. You know, full disclosure, I am on the board, um, anantlife.com. And, you know, um, and when we use these different uh, these different strategies, you know, then we can actually reduce the overall harm, and that should be another thing that we can add into the mix. Because for sure, there's people who are definitely more predisposed to mental illness and definitely more predisposed to to uh, psychosis. 